folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don, this is Rockin' the Country. I've got a gift request today, and this is this kind of stuff is fun. I don't know, I like nuance, and this nuance here, Jason Halverson made a gift to the channel for me to do one of Merle's songs. You saw it. What have you got planned tonight, Diana? Now, I don't know this song, and I know a fair amount of Merle's music, but Jason, when he made the, uh, when you and he, when Jason made the gift uh, in the notes, he said, a lot of Merle stuff is well known, but we're going to go with some basically like B-side stuff. Not your words, but lesser known songs. And I love that. Like, you know, some folks just like the stuff that they know. And, but many of you folks, and I appreciate this so much on the channel, because right, it shows that you're inquisitive, you're curious, you want to keep growing. You haven't gotten old in that regard where you just want things a certain way. You like hearing new songs, even from artists that you've known and loved for decades. So I don't know what Diana's got planned tonight, but let's find out why Merle wants to know about it. Maybe Diana's hot. Let's find out. Had a mama tried feel initially. I remember it all started in 1929 when me and Diana came to Alaska to homestead some of this free government land. Forty miles from the nearest gravel road, we cut our life in the ponderosa pines. Reminds me of Johnny Horton. We sweated hard to beat the winter snow. But the cabin's up, and we got lots of time. All right. What have you got planned tonight, Diana? Would you consider lying in my arms? I love you more than ever now, Diana. I'm sure you're the reason I was born. Oh, oh, oh. Jim was born the first year we were here. She flew into his arms. Look at him. My God, he's almost grown. The baby's in the cradle, fast asleep. Just think in no time he'll be up and gone. Oh boy, what have you got planned tonight, Diana? Would you consider lying in my arms? I love you more than ever now, Diana. I'm sure you're the reason I was born. What a beautiful thought. Well, time sure does fly, doesn't it, Dinah? It's been almost two years now since, since you've been gone. Speaking of time, I guess you know that uh, mine's about up. I'm going to see you tonight. Just another breath or two and... I'll be home. By the way, oh. what have you got planned tonight, Diana? Would you consider? So she passed away, and now he's about to pass away. All right, I didn't see that coming because Merle's voice is so strong here. I just picture the the character singing the song, being young. You know, they just had newborns. We didn't get the intermediate stuff. Did they die old? Did they get a tuberculosis? I mean, what happened? Why Why did she die? But this is just about, he's about to pass away. And the implication, he's going to meet her in heaven. What has she got planned for him tonight? Oh, I like the way that's presented. I never thought of it that way. If you meet somebody, do they have, if there is a heaven, the way we conceptualize it, do they have something planned for us that night? Huh. I love you more than ever. Now, Diana. 
Oh, it's over. I'm sure you're the reason I was born. Oh, he, there are, that's beautiful. There were two things in there that I've never heard in a song before. Well, one I've never heard in a song before, which is the lyric, I'm sure you're the reason I was born. Man, that put, that's just beautiful. That could go into any wedding song. But the other thing is a concept I'd never thought of before, which you heard me sort of effervescing about toward the end of the song, which is that if heaven is as we conceptualize it, many do, like, okay, you die, and then somehow your spirit or some soul, whatever we want to call it, floats up, goes somewhere to some land. Land? I don't know if you're a spirit being at that point. What do you need land for? But nonetheless, if there's such a place that somehow is consistent with our way of living here, except it's a nice place. Or does somebody have something planned for us? Most people would say, oh, Jesus does, or God does, or Moses does, whatever your faith is. You know, that's, that's who has it all planned, laid out for you. But I never heard it put this way, and I like it. Because I like outside-the-box thinking. I love it. I, you know, the, I don't even have to agree with it. I just like being presented with new ideas that might fill in some of the pieces for me uh, in life. And maybe they're just fun, sort of whimsical-type ideas. But, uh, you know, I enjoy questions. I don't have to have answers anymore. I like to have some answers, but I don't know. that I'm a philosopher. What can I say? I like questions. I do. I'm comfortable there in those spaces. All right, Jason, that was a fun one. Merle's voice was just about as strong as I'd ever heard it. Uh, and he's got such a compelling voice. You could see, I'm assuming this came out early in his career, and then you could see, though, why his career would have continued and continued and continued. Because when you have a voice like that, it's just so compelling that it, it, people are going to buy it <laughs> and your career is going to be extended. It's that simple. Uh, we know what Merle became, but when you look back to the beginning of people's careers, some artists get cut an album or two, and then they get dropped, and you don't hear from them again. Or you've got your one-hit wonders. Then you've got somebody with a gift, a vocal gift, like this. So, all right, I'm going to rate this thing. Uh, it was pretty. Very simple bass line. That's Merle. Merle had very simple bass in it. Man, all right, the number that popped into my head was a 9.0. And it was on the strength of Merle's voice, that one lyric, and then that one concept. Diana got something planned. I don't know what happened in the song. At what, what age did she die? I don't know. It seemed like they just had kids. But then he said, all right, now I guess Joey's growing up and, and all that. But Jason, that was a hell of a find, man. Thank you for that one. And uh, the 40 acres up in Alaska. I thought only Johnny Horton sang about that, but um, I'll get skewered for that last comment. But um, Merle evidently did too. So there it is. All right, guys. Have a great day. Thanks again, Jason. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country.